Say this after me. Dear Lord Jesus. Dear Lord Jesus. I empty myself. I empty myself. That you may fill me again. That you may fill me again. Earthly things. Earthly things. Will leave me dry. Will leave me dry. Only you. Only you can satisfy me. Can satisfy me. I make up my mind. I make up my mind to live for you. To live for you. To honor you. To honor you. To fear you. To fear you. To be in the secret place. To be in the secret place. Just loving on you. Just loving on you. I pray, Lord. I pray, Lord. That you will keep me. That you will keep me in perfect peace. In perfect peace. Lord, I pray. Lord, I pray. That though I'm in this world. Though I am in this world. This world. This will not corrupt me. Not corrupt. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I give you my mind. I give you my mind. I give you my heart. I give you my heart. I give you full access. I give you full access to my life. To my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of then Jesus. tell him I love you. I love you. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Amen. Father, I speak a special blessing upon your people. Lord, whatever they have said with your lips, their lips, let it become a reality, Lord. In the name of Jesus. May we be known as a church that fears you, that loves you, that worships you, that prays. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your grace and glory in Jesus' name. And God's good people say it a better. Amen. Amen. Put your hands together. Let's appreciate it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It's good to see all of you in the house of the Lord. It's good to see. I know what wa nyumba wanashanga leo pastor uliamua je kuna viti please you can please uh, guys 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 please nisaidie ni kupanga tu viti hivi so that we can just share something small and then we can we can be out of this place in Jesus name. Can can um an an please can you have the visitors position somewhere wasibebe viti please the visitors there. Any visitor asibebe viti. Yes. Hata mkikaa fogo dhari ni sawa tu. It's okay. It's okay. It's understandable that today we were having a time of prayer. Thank you worship team. The good Lord bless you. Amo mnataka kunisaidia ku preach. Okay, sawa. Yes, let's let's appreciate the worship team in Jesus name. Eh, hakuna mtu akuwa appreciate. Acha niwapigie makofi. Amen and amen. Good to see all of you in the house of the Lord. Was was in today a productive day? How many of you feel feel a change in your life, yeah? You know, it is I, I can honestly say by the grace of God getting people at 5 a.m. to come and pray takes the grace of God. Tell your neighbor it takes the grace of God. So guys were here by 5 a.m. they were praying, they were interceding, no, nobody was looking around. People were just interceding and praying and that shows that this church is healthy tell your neighbor the church is healthy so i believe that god is going to give us strategy mr minister francis god is going to give us he has already done so we already have strategies in jesus name all right ndauliza swali who who is here who is sick any person who is here and as you're sick you're sick you're sick let me see let me see let me see All right. Any person that came that was discouraged, lift up your hand. Eh? You were discouraged. You were. You were. Says you kwaje. You're strengthened. Oh, ni wewe peke yako ulikuwa au wengine walikuwa strengthened. Wameongezewa. Amen. Praise be to God. So good to see you all again in Jesus name. So let me just say something to uh, the visitors because I'm seeing we have some visitors. Um we have been in the month of february we have been looking at the at a topic called what strategy that god is a god of strategy praise be to god and we saw the first sunday of february that god has a way out tell your neighbor god has a way out when then you amuna njaro i was sending you konjaro down at the feet of lord is the most high place so we looked at god has a strategy tell your neighbor god has a strategy all right so uh, i'm just doing a recap for our our visitors so that we be in the same page all right so we looked at god has a way out and we looked at what the story of what the children of israel 
and the Red Sea. You're forgotten. The story of the children of Israel and the Red Sea. Natuka discovered they didn't swim. They were not given an option of swimming. God had to separate the waters. That was God's strategy. Then the next Sunday, what did we look at? Pursue, overtake, and recover all. And we discovered that Ziklag in First Samuel 30, that Ziklag was attacked. It was a city given to David, but it was attacked because David had done what? Had partnered with the wrong people. Okay, so First Samuel 27, utapata your storyline. But when now the, the, his possession had been taken, uh, the wives, and we said in this church, you don't have wives, you have one wife. All right? Look at, now, now squeeze it to gender specific, a female. All right? So look at a married person, Mwambia, Mkeni ule ule. Ebu Mwambia, Mwambia, Mkeni ule ule. Mumoja. Mkeni ule ule. Mumo. All right? Okay. All right, so somebody was asking me this week, uh, Pastor, why is it in the Old Testament they were allowed to have wives? And I told them, next Sunday we are doing ABCs of Bible interpretation. Please come, I will answer that question. But I will answer as we, as we continue. So we discovered, pursue, overtake, recover all. So last Sunday, what did we learn? Building according to God's plan. In other words, you don't build according to your plan. You build according to God's plan. And we saw in Exodus that God tells Moses to build the tabernacle after what he had seen from the mountaintop. So we can be having two pastors in this church that God is building, but their pattern will be different. Their pattern will be different. I'm a healing minister. I believe I have the anointing to heal. Same with Pastor Benny Hinn, but we have different patterns. Are you getting my, my point? And we discovered on Sunday, one of the key things that will bring you down is you comparing yourself. You keep on comparing yourself. The Bible says, you comparing yourself with others, you are not wise. It's another way of the Bible saying, where he, he? Praise be to God. And so, I'm just recapping for the visitor. So today, we were culminating all those things with prayer, strategy for prayer. So we began prayer at 5 a.m. And that's why you see we had not arranged the seat because we needed people to pray around, to lay and talk to God in Jesus' name. Have you been blessed? Yes. Was it worth it? Yes. It was 100% worth it. My wife, Ananiambia Sijachanua Nyuele, Sasa Leo Munielewe, I was... By the, I say this to the glory of God. I was here by 1 a.m. I have prayed baka saizi. I have prayed baka saizi. Sija kaa chini. So nikuwa naona nikika hapa, antafanya yundanza kubind Yesu. I bind you, Jesus. So, munia lewe leo. Leo tulikuwa battlefield. Lakini sinakaa poa. Sindio? Afu wakuna picha leo. Sindio? Nisipige picha. Nisi nichome. Nisi chome bana. Tiflafi kinking. Munajuaje kana build according to God's pattern. <laughs> Amen. I left early. I just felt I needed to come and pray. I didn't even think about any other thing. But I tell you for, 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 for reasons I can't explain. Kuna nema ya kuomba manzi. Ata uski kuhema. Unasikia. Kama saizi nasikia tu niendele tu shaba. Ba, 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 ba. Kuna nema ya kuomba. Buwana sifuwe sana. Alright. So I'm just going to encourage us. And then we, because we said we are going to finish by 11. Ndiyo wenye walikuja mapema waende waka rest. Na kuna ingine wanataka kuenda pa, kuona Pastor Benny Hinn. But kwanza wane Pastor Bob. You are getting my point. So kuna kitu imekuwe in my heart. Uh, na wageni kwa hii church si tunongiaga sheng. Tunongiaga kizungu, kiswahili. Huwa tuna, tunaacha roho mtakatifu anafanya kazi yake. Buwana sifuwe sana. Uku tuna believe na prophecy, atu believe na gimmicks, atu believe na mbegu ya written, but we believe in the ministry of the Holy Ghost. We believe in speaking in tongues, we believe in prophecy, we believe in laying of hands, and we allow the Holy Ghost to do what he needs to do. So we are actually like an extension of the book of Acts. Yeah. Praise be to God. Now kita kujua place enye God yuko, 
unajua mume mumeomba kama mmesimama kutoka saa ngapi na mjachoka that tells you the spirit of god is in this place in jesus name so there is something that has been in my heart god has been impressing in my heart and i felt i should share with you in jesus name deuteronomy 32 um mr francis can you give me that scripture that says jeshurun grew fat and kick i know it's in deuteronomy 32 but i don't know the verse uh, i want to share from that text in jesus name it talks about jeshurun grew fat and kicked let me see whether i can get it all right so again mume karibisho sana there's a cup of tea for you made with a lot of love and some very nice mandazis yeah we we after church we like taking tea together and some mandazis together in jesus name all right made with a lot of love all right nimeipata deuteronomy 32 verse number 15 okay Taka tuanzie verse 9. Oh, verse 7. Verse 7. That's number 7, if you can. So look at me, people of God. I have had the privilege of being under my pastor a pastor should be under another pastor all right i have had the privilege of being under pastor andrew mwangi and pastor kathy mwangi for the last 18 years yeah 18 years and jcc nakuru because we are an offshoot of jcc nakuru but all all of us are under bishop alan kuna i saw how the church began i saw how people joined church and they were billers. Praise be to God. He joined in which year? 208. 208. Uh, you are the leftists. <laughs> so I had the privilege ya kuona church ikianza from scratch. Niliona pasta wangu akianza kanisa from scratch. Haku kukua keyboardist. Haku kukua drumist. Hakukukua mse wa sound. Okay, ye, by God's grace, ali, alipata sound, alipeo sound, alipeo team ya kukuja kufanya ministry pamoja. So I saw people, I saw people come to church and they were billers. Are you getting my point? And I remember pastor will stand and say, I see cars parked. Wow! Pasi ya nasema, I see cars parked, na sasa hizo ata una fair. Si fair ndi inaitako Ferrari. E, una fair. Yeah, na professor anasema naona naona magari naona nikikuja ku dedicate manyumba zenu sasa hizo hakuna msi yako na fair hakuna msi yako na mbele wala nyuma hata pasi mwenyewe that time alikuwa uh, atakuja atakuja nitamuuliza hiyo siku awape hiyo story hapa alikuwa na gari tell you about gari alikuwa akipiga bump inashuha tu bado amepiga bump na anaenda inaenda kifanya hivi it was the ministry car plus his family car he kept prophesying he kept saying he kept saying but i remember something he said that has never left my mind he said one of the things i fear is when god lifts you up when that time comes will you still serve god praise be to god and all of us to lipitezo mitihani to lipitezo mitihani now for the last couple of years god amekuwa kini impressia ikitu Nitawasomea prophecy zenye God alinipatia asubuhi. One of the things God alisema it's a new dawn. It's a new dawn for this church. God alisema tuta grow tushtuke. Oh. You're recording this eh? You'll give them yeah? God alisema tuta grow tushtuke. God amesema and this is the third time anasema there are people who are going to come to benchmark our ministry. You know what benchmarking is? Msia nakuja na angalia kenye God anafanya, ana desire ifanyike kwake. Every now and then we are getting prophecies. Nei prophecy ina nishangazaga sana. Kwa kila mtu anatupeaga prophecy from Becky. Kwanza Becky anaziota sana. Hey! Becky dreams like something else. But every person including Rod ata ukiota, ata Esther, muna semaga ati we were in church praying. That is the thing that makes me glad. Atuku kwa tunakula njaro. 
Nasemaga, we were in church praying and this was happening. May we be a church that prays. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na nitawaambia wapendwa msichoke kuomba. Because kama prophecy zote tunapewa tunaambiwa we were praying, it tells you nothing will ever happen if we don't pray. So we are a church that prays. Praise be to God. And if you are a visitor and you're planning to join us, tuhoyaga mno, tunaombaga sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. And we are seeing results as we pray. So, let's go to this scripture. Inasema, remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask who? Ask your father, and he will show you your elders and they will tell you. Aha. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Are you saying he's talking about Genesis? By the next Sunday musiko, next Sunday carry a Bible. In this church you carry Bibles, yeah? Carry a Bible, carry a notebook, carry a pen. Kwanza ukutane na Ken. Ken anakuwa na Bible tatu. Na kona ile kanini sticker note. Tunafanya serious business next Sunday. Bible interpretation. Hii story ya kuchanganyago hivi na ma stories za Bible aziwelewi tutazimaliza. Okay? So ukisoma hapo when he says when the most high divided their inheritance, he's talking about what? Which book was the book of division? Exodus ni kutoka. Genesis. Acha nisikie. Kwani amkwenda nini? Tuanze. Genesis ni nini? Ni mwanzo. Exodus. <laughs> Mwana sema tuna Kiswahili, okay. Hayo ingine ni Leviticus. Leviticus ilikuwa nini? Law. Deuteronomy ni nini? Remembrance. Wewe. When you go there, chunga usifanye. When you do this, chunga usifanye. That's how you read the Bible. Then after Deuteronomy ni nini? Joshua. So, apa ki divide the inheritance? Tunaongelea kitabu gani? Joshua. That's how you interpret the Bible. Okay? When he separated the son of sons of Adam, amekurudisha wapi? Genesis. Okay? He set the boundaries of the peoples according to the number of the children of he? Leviticus. Tuendele? For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the place of his inheritance, all right? Okay, let's continue. He found him. Pause. I have been saying over and over again, simple Bible interpretation rule is what? Bible haikukuwa na verse na haikukuwa na chapter. So unaisoma kama gazeti. So, he found him in a desert land. Who was he that was found? Previous verse inasema, Jacob. You see how you read the Bible? So, we can say, Jacob was found where? In a? So, nataka wangalia analogy. Ni desert. So, mnajua desert vile inaka? Kalahari. Then, Bible inasema, it's a wasteland. Then, inasema, it's a hollowing wilderness. Yani, it's not only a desert it's a wasteland it's a wilderness now look at what god does god comes in the place yenye kuna mtu and what does he do he encircles that is genesis 1 2 he's brooding and the spirit of god was brooding brooding ushanipata naenda mahali na story so and uangalie any genuine church god never gives you finished people god gives you broken people god gives you divorced people broke busted disgusted that's what god gives you muna nipata sasa kazi ya mchungaji ni kuwaosha na neno eh ju unakuja joy <laughs> okay let me <laughs> Unakuja au jiamini Bwana asifiwe sana Unakuja kwanza ladies jumepitia sana uamini ndoa Unasema all men na No they are born again <laughs> How jiamini suna get But kazi ya pasi ni Ana kufeed Ana kufeed Ana kufeed na kuna hiyo scripture so si tuko hapo kwa hiyo ni verse number 10. Hebu tuende 2 Timothy 2. Yeah. 
Second Timothy 2 twende hapo tuone kitu. Alafu tumalize hii maneno. Bwana asifiwe sana. Yes. Twende kwa Second Timothy Two, twenty-four. Nataka kuonesha why you need a pastor because many people believe you don't need a pastor. I want to show you why you need a pastor. Aya, iko kwa screen to to save time. Inasema nini? Some pamoja want to go and a servant of the Lord must know. So, what is the first quality of a pastor? Please you have to talk. You have to earn your tea. What is the quality Janet? You must not quarrel. That's what the Bible says. But be what? Now you understand because there are people who ask me, "Pasi una tolerate gi homseaje?" Bible tells me I should be gentle. If you can't be gentle, don't be a pastor. All right? He should be gentle. Angalia quality ya upasi. You should not quarrel. You should be gentle. You should be what? If you're not able to teach, you're not supposed to be a pastor. You're not supposed to be a prophet. Wacha kusema wewe ni prophet alafu unatoa tu prophets na ujui Genesis iko wapi. Ukiambia wase afungueni uh, Genesis unaitafuta hivi. Tell your neighbor na lie Able to teach and be what? Be what? Can you are a minister that God is raising? You must be able to teach number one. Then you must be patient with the people as you're teaching them what I get. So I can teach you something over and over again and some of you mtaipata the fifth year. Ndio inagonga ah basi ndio kitu unakuwa ukisema. Lakini lazima ni that's why Paul anasema for me to keep on repeating the same thing over over and over again. So a good church is a good that repeats. And the spirit of God is the spirit of repetition. Mona apt to teach or able to teach patient Tendele? in humility king james nasema in meekness tukai kwa hii in humility correcting those who are in opposition so in humility you come you are in when when you are not agreeing with what god says about you you are already in opposition so when come church you believe in generational curses si ndio so you are already in no opposition so kazi ya pasi ni nini kukufunza utoke kwa opposition utoke odm <laughs> utoke spiritual odm is a joke we we crack jokes here again all right so that they may if god peradventure we grant them what now that reward repentance there means a change in mindset a 360 degree change that's why pasi atakana nyinyi anawaambia you can make it unajua mimi you can make it nakumbuka conversation ya musa na god enda uambie mimi siezi ongea enda uambie mimi siezi ongea mpaka god akajama akamwambia si yule ni bro yako anakaa hebu enda umwambia that's the work of a pastor your marriage will work ai kwetu hatujaifanya harusi you're opposing yourself mpaka siku moja unasema by the way i can get married you are now re changing you're changing your mindset he says so that they may uh, oh yeah, show me the king james king james in akoga that's for me it does everything for me that scripture too for king james Allow me. Sindio? Have you got any? Ama nijisomee hapa. In meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves, if God peradventure will give them repentance to the acknowledgement of the truth. So God is waiting for you to hear the word, embrace the word and begin to change. Twendele and that they may recover sinyi ni wazungu soma inasema nini did you see any deliverance ministry there kutoa mapepo what is he saying pastor akikufunza vizuri if he is good in teaching the bible you will recover yourself in other words you take yourself out of the prison of the devil we mwenyewe by hearing the word i tell you this and write it down and I'll buy t-shirt now print The best deliverance is the word. That's the best deliverance. 
ingine yenye unapigishwa sama wanakungojea pale utapigishwa sama waishie ule daimon meja anakaa pale <laughs> meja huyo ukitokea hivi church ukisema and now may the grace of our lord jesus ukiingia hivi anarudi anasema buda ulikuwa umefikiria tumeenda hakuna the best deliverance is the word that they may recover themselves out of what of the devil who are taken so pasi mwenye hafunzi church word anafanya church yake ikuwe captive washirika wanakuwa wafungwa wakati pasi hawafunzi neno wana sifuwe sana you know somebody asked me oh pastor alitulizana na my wife eh siku hiyo i almost slapped him with a holy slap alulizaga pastor sasa wewe ni kazi gani unafanya si nikusimama tu sande hapo unaongea una, unashikanisha scripture tatu nikamwambia buda Do you know what it takes to prepare a sermon? The research. Eh? Tuongee ukweli. 1 a.m. ulikuwa wapi? Si ulikuwa season 3 of sleeping. Previously on sleeping. Si ndio? Mimi niko hapa shebedebele. Open their eyes, Lord. Open their eyes. I was praying. I actually prayed Ephesians 1:17 over every one of you that this father of our lord jesus christ the father of glory may grant you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him your eyes being enlightened that's what i was praying and then that kajoka says that at we don't do anything kazi yetu tu ni kufungua bible hivi oh what a shock do this what a shock and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil who are taken captive at his will listen to me visitors listen to me visitors If 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 for any reason make sure that you get fed well make sure that you taught the word of god well mumenipata ah huh? this church we teach the word correct and i tell you to go check the word you become the jew of berea bwana sifuwe sana eh siku kuja kusema hapa ati tunakunywa anointing oil i have taught you we the anointing oil in the old testament in the new testament what is there the holy spirit tell yourself the holy spirit, holy spirit. now back to deuteronomy 32:10 32:10 deuteronomy 32:10 he found him in a desert land in the west howling wilderness he led him about he instructed him he kept him as the apple of who is doing this joy it is god amepata mse pali amechapa so nilikuwa nataka kuambia Any church God aletagi wase wako sawa. Na wacha nikwambie kama unatafuta church perfect. Haiko na si kwenye utaipata usi join. Cuz uki join imekuwa imperfect. Cuz an imperfect person has joined a perfect church. So don't join it. Praise be to God. So God will bring people who are written off. Nani anafanya kazi insurance hapa? Anaweza explain. God atakupatia wase wako written off. But the word The word inaosha inaosha tu inaosha tu let's continue as an ego okay tuoneshe basi king ni king james wasi humo na ulimi but as an ego started up her nest fluttered over her young spread it abroad her wings take it them is it that speaks of protection mmenipata na niwaulize hii scripture haifua nani na Psalm 91 Haikai Psalm 91 hivi kidogo Si nakaa All right let's continue So the Lord alone led him and there was no Ken umekaa sana kuja Umekaa sana man Eh, utatuambia kwenye ulikuwa eh? na uko mumoto ni nini <laughs> so check his scripture ken inasema to to say me where and your israel israel alikuwa place desert alikuwa place wilderness alikuwa place desolate nobody cared about him umenipata mpaka hapo who was the only person the only entity that cared about him god So God amemwen circle mnakumbuka amen check your combo amemwen circle alafu at the same time amespread 
Amen. Wings. Munaona? God is multifaceted. He Amen. can spread his wings and, and at the same time is. And the Bible says that he was hovering, he was spreading, he was carrying. Oh, what a combo. What a combo. And then he says, Ken, so the Lord alone led him and there was no foreign God. This is why I needed Ken. Most of us, most of us to Kohapo. Huh? The only thing yenye uko nao ni Mungu. <laughs> Kwa hii safari wewe tu ni wewe na Mungu wako tu. Na wakati ni wewe na God. So na jule song ya I put you in front in front of my melodies. Your money melodies. <laughs> The Bible says there is no foreign god. There is a place to nakwaga Christo. We don't have foreign gods. You know why? You know why? Sir, because saizo hauna kakirus. Hauna mpango, hauna plan. Plan A ni Mungu, plan B ni Mungu, plan C ni Mungu, kufuli ni Mungu, chakula ni Mungu, fea ni Mungu, kila kitu ni Mungu. So there is no foreign god. Twendele. Twendele. He made him ride in the heights of the earth. That's promotion. That he may eat the produce of the fields. He made him draw honey from Uli waiona ulisikia wapi? Asali inatolewa kwa mawe. Hebu gonga hiyo mawe uone wewe usigonge wewe wewe. Uone kaitatoa asali. And anasema and oil from what? Unajua story inamaanisha nini? Kuja Ken. Tuko hapa the Lord is the one leading him he's alone with God there was no foreign god so the supernatural was easy to perform cuz ni wewe na Mungu mawe lazima itoe asali mafuta lazima itoke kwa mawe kwa sababu ni wewe na Mungu tuendele eh and you're shaking it's the anointing <laughs> Cards from the cattle and the milk of the flock with fats of lambs and rams of the breed of Bashan and goats. Unaona hiyo ni prosperity. Bado wako na nani? Na Mungu. No foreign god. Tuendele. Sumsome. With the choicest wheat. The blood of Hey. But Jeshurun, Jeshurun is another name for Israel. So, but Jeshurun grew fat and, and kicked. You grew fat, you grew thick, you are obese. Then you forsook God who made you and scornfully resisted the rock of the salvation. So, what was the foreign God here? Sasa the things that came became the foreign god. Are you getting my point? He says you grew fat, you kicked, you became obese. I have never forgotten this Kikuyu song. Maybe you know it. Okay, it because this the, the lady asks, ni nini hii uliona? Uka change. Hey, that song. You know that song, yeah? what is this thing that you saw that you changed? Listen to me if you're writing down. God hana shida na kukupetia vitu. God hajai kuwa na shida. <clears throat> God hana shida ukiendesha Range Rover. Unafikiri utaendeshea heaven? He doesn't require it. You're the one that requires a Range Rover. God doesn't need holiday. Monaco. Huh? God doesn't need a, a, a story house. Hana problem. Hana problem. Problem God anakuaga nao na sisi ni when hizo vitu they have you Oh why didn't you come to church nilikuwa nimeenda car wash Wapi uko Rwanda uko ndio wanaosha gari alafu wanaipaka mafuta na wanaipolish You same person mwenye ulikuwa na teremka hapa nikao na slide ukikuja kutafuta Mungu asubuhi sasa umtafuti wana sifuwe sana you single lady you are coming to to, to pray 5am pastor alisema kuja muombe 5am strategy una come 
Now you're married. Ati, why didn't you come? My husband needed me in the morning. Oh, oh, Jesus. You grew fat. Look at your single friend. Tell them you grew fat. Uh, you are kicking now. You are kicking. God hanaga shida. God hanaga shida ken. God hana shida. Wana sifuwa sana. The Bible says it is his good pleasure to give you. It is the pleasure of God to give you. Wana sifuwa sana. I have seen, together with my wife, to me honor in the journey of ministry, church. I tell you, if you want to know, my pastor told me something again. I have never forgotten. I, I hope mboe kaji ni kiwambia vile mini learn kwa pasi. Pasi aliniambia, aliniambia, Robert, let me tell you. People get born again over everything except money. Yambia watu wako kagi pesa. Nani ukweli? And that's why Bible inasema you cannot serve God. Nona kwenye meka pesa. Eh, for where your treasure is. Eh, ni, wacha ni kuoneshe. Ukitaka kujua. Na usiangalia jirani yako. <laughs> Ukitaka kujua bado unasumbuka na pesa. Eh? Poteza ngiri. Alafu upoteze ukikaa mchurch. Hata uwezi sikiza service. Iko kwa kuti. Kama ni acha kuuba. Auwezi sikiza sab. Nani giri yemwe? One giri. One giri. Sasa ebu niambie if you were to lose 100,000 So utapita hapo kiba solidarity forever to answer healing service. That shows you where your heart is when it comes to money. Bwana asifiwe sana. Can I hear an amen? You want to know you are born again. Begin to tell God. Mungu pesa isinitoe kwa uwepo wako. There are people they are not able to sin because they are broke. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, help me here. There are people who can't sin right now because they can't fund. They can't fund the sin. Yes. They can't fund the sin, the activity. Bwana asifiwe sana. Tuongee tu kweli. Sasa hizi nikikuchukua tu. Nikuchukua hivi nikuweke New York. Utakuwa umeokoka bado. Eh? Ah, tuongee tu. Niongelesheni. Utakuwa umeokoka. Kabisa? Eh? Sitaona sitakuona TikTok leo. Everybody, everybody. You're like what's this now? Are you sure? Are you sure? Eh? Huh? Sometimes anza kujiuliza na God, e blessing ninafuata Mungu nayo. Am I really ready for it? Praise be to God. Twendele verse 16 do twende home it provoked him to jealousy with what and what are the foreign gods there possessions with abominations they provoked him to anger aha uh-huh. they sacrificed niposni akiniwaambia ama niwaache tu Nani nataka niwaambie nioni mkono kama unataka niwaambie simple doctrine of simple bible interpretation they sacrifice to demons not to god in our new testament how do we sacrifice to god kuna praise kuna worship kuna giving yako so when somebody is sacrificing to demons not to god is your prioritizing things your prioritizing your kawash at unaweza peleka gari kawash dan kupatiana offering Huzuliacha God Wacha niwaambie wapenda ukiacha Mungu utajishtua utajishtua hata utashtua shetani atakuja kuchukua notes sasa wa sikuwa nimeona hiyo I tell you the truth I, I have been I have been a pastor for quite some time I can tell you the truth I remember Reverend Julian saying telling us when he was doing this company called mod he had a company called mod alisema his greatest what his greatest disappointment was to hire christians because they were not ready for millions atiwasewa aliandikwa job hivi mr francis wakaanza kulipo in dollars 
wakaamua sasa ni matot <laughs> matot Mungu atusaidie Hakuna haja backslide na, na nini na Mercedes Benz si ni kweli si tuongee kweli I would rather drive a pro box yenye nakaa hivi na niende heaven bana na usi backslide It's true They sacrificed to demons not to God to gods they did not know to new gods to new arrivals that your fathers did not even fear <laughs> i will tell you this people of god usiwache the secret place usiwache mahali ya maombi na nimewaambia kwa hii kanisa hatuombagi tupate vitu graduate from god give me give me give me because my name is jimmy graduate from it we pray to find the will of god bwana sifwe sana tuongee ukweli si hapa tunaongea ukweli hadi kama tunaomba tupate chakula then wanyama wa, tu, si wanyama wamechanuka sana jua waombagi chakula it should be more than that si ndio we pray to find the agenda of god the will of god so if you don't pray you will serve a new arrival they sacrifice to demons not to go to new arrivals when they amen of the rock who begot you you are unmindful na kuambia mimi nimeona kai joy let me give you a story same story come i remember my wife knows that person i remember one guy hakuwa na certificates hakuwa na kiti yote but tukiwa na cashers we used to have like this like kesha tulikuwa na tume hii time tumekuwa nao prayer the man will come anaenda kwa kona pale analia anamwaga machozi hivi ambia mwanzi god nikumbuke nikumbuke because i was praying nilikuwa napita hapo nasikia vile ana pray hivi eh nasikia mimi na kwao msoro nasikia tu sikia oh god remember me he was a single person the first thing that happened he got a wife supernatural then kwa hiyo gashagasha hivi bado anaaminia Mungu. You know mse aliandika go na one of the leading insurance companies. Akafanywa kuwa unit manager. Kidogo joy jamaa kona gari. Inalipo na kampuni na inalipo pesa. Usha iona mtu anapewa gari unalipo unakato 5000 shillings every month. See that's being unfair. Na ni gari poa. The day the guy got the car is the day we last saw him in church. Gari. So namuliza eh hey, bro niaje kuji church? Ah nitaka hebu nitumie audio za pasi. Na no, nitumie account number ya church nitumie tithe. Ali sleep tukionaga hivi hivi. The next time we are having an audience with him he is on the verge of divorce. Thank God God ali muristo. Kana hiyo ni amen. Mi nataka uombe sana that even when money comes you are still praying. When the car comes you're still praying. Bwana kikuja unaendelea kuomba. Bwana asifiwe sana. Sijuka anawasaidia. Sijuka anawasaidia. Andika hivi chini. Kenye utapata na maombi, utai sustain na maombi. Usiwaisahau hiyo. Kama umepata job na maombi, unai sustain na maombi. Kama umepata wife na maombi, and I gather kila kitu tunapata na maombi, utai sustain na maombi. God alikuwa ananiambia the blessings you guys are going to walk with. Man, I have seen it in the spirit. Can I I shock can I shock you? Some of the single sisters here, you're already millionaires. You don't know. God alikuwa ananiambia vile mtasupport hii kazi. Huh? Praise be to God. Ebu look at me people of God. We God has given us a patent for this place. Tunaeka hosi hapa. Oh, wacha nikuje hii church hapa ndio hii. At least ina buy my idea. Tunaeka tunaeka hosi. Tunaeka hosi somewhere here. We are doing a, a nini a prayer center. Are you getting? I love I have an idea. Tell your neighbor pastor has a crazy idea. Unaona vile kuna kuoga na uba. Hmm? I want us as JCC to have ambulances stationed. Na si za JCC brand ni yetu but mama kishikika toll free. 
an ambulance is round on apple inakupeleka kwanza inakuleta hapa kama ujisikia hapa kwenye inakupeleka na haulipi sio that is now doing church oh man that's doing church sio kwa nini tusiweke dustbins kikuyu ah kwa nini kwa nini hao wase wandudi waende na uto tu vest tufani si tuwapatie vest poa za church na usimulipishe si ni kweli kwa nini tusiweke street light hapa hivyo kana hiyo ni amen kwa nini tusichukue watoto hizi soma vizuri tuwapeleke uni poa bwana sifue sana and these things they need money and we are not waiting for wazungus Yes Margaret we are waiting for you. Amen. Eh? Na ngoja ile siku nitakuja hapa niwaambie wapendwa tunataka une pasta. Endo usome Biblia hizi vitu zingine tuachie. <laughs> tuachie umepiga kelele sana. <laughs> It will happen in Jesus name. Amen. But I pray when the money comes you also be found praying. Can you imagine sasa kungekuwa 5 a.m. alafu hapa kuna ma Bentley kuna malambo hapo kuna nini alafu sasa umekuja na na hiyo prada inaitwa prada hiyo nguo ya wasichana prada umekuja umelia hapa unalia Yesu nitumie nitumie that brings joy to Christ that you you are wasting prada on Jesus that's nice eh but no no uko 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 kwenye nilikuwa church mimi nilikuwa naona wasi wanainuliwa One time tell your neighbor one time jamaa alikuwa jamaa alikuwa akingoja pasi akipitia tu akiekelea mkono chini ana ana yeah you know the reverence from the heart wacha wakati alianza masuti anaekelewa hivi aendi 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 ati suti sichafuke god have mercy god have mercy may we never get to those places in jesus mighty name On the rock who begot you you are a mindful and have forgotten the God who fathered you. All right. And when the Lord saw it he spawned spewed them spanned them because of the provocation of his sons and his daughters. Twendele? Huh? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. For they are Aha. Uh-huh. Hosapo. Sio ni story ya the children of Israel. Now mimi in the New Testament we practice the same. Bwana Yesu unaja kwako. Umeingia wapi? Canaan. Ukiingia Canaan unaanza usha notice when somebody is newly born again. Kama wewe ni jamaa hata unaweza enda ladies meetings. Watatu pale kuna mkutano wa injili. Eh usikiagi si ni ukweli sitaongea. You you kwa YouTube unataka tukisikiza sermon ora tukisoma bible eh so sasa hizi ni nini ni noma yenye Ephesians ina argue na Netflix tuache hapo kaende <laughs> eh Jack Bauer na Russell na Apostle Paul eh i didn't say you don't watch movies don't forget ile ile fasla ulikuwa nayo na Yesu don't forget it bwana sifiwe sana so tunaokokaga ken tuna walk na god blessing ina come unaacha mungu eh vile children of israel walikuwa unaanza kulilia mungu takikunukia si ndio hii anasema je i will hide how is it that the same person who was walking with me now is hiding his face May God never hide his face in Jesus name. Wapendwa ninawaambia na nitawaambia tena. God atawa bless. God atawainua. God atafanya vitu. Some of you hata mjui vile you are always dreaming God nitaipata land. Manze utapata land. Kwa sababu plot ya iko binguni. Mwenye alikuambia wako kawimbo wako plot yangu iko binguni. Hakuna uko kuna plot. Hakuna ni upate wapi? Plot maguta maguta shie haha. Uko God will give you land. Show me that scripture that says Peter Peter says tumeacha kila kitu. Motia, ulikuwa nao jana. There's a scripture that Peter asks. Jesus, we have left everything. Mhm. 
Jen, you should be looking for it because ni punishment ya kukaa sana. Eh, just check the synoptic gospels. You will get it. Luke 18. Luke 18. 28. All right, Luke 18. 28. Thank you. Luke 18. 28. Are you getting blessed? Ninamaliza. Nimemaliza tukunywe chai tuende home sasa. Then whom say? Eh, hiyo ndio shida kuja church late. <laughs> eh no kimuita akuje jume muita hivyo <laughs> eh, you should be coming to church late by the way we want to build a culture of people coming to church early ukienda ukitupa id unaenda kwa ofisi ya id mapema kwa nyumba ya Mungu ndio unakuja karivas hivi tusome then peter said see we have left all and followed you Peter anajulikanaga alikuwa naongea alikuwa sanguine alikuwa naongeaga tu eh uh-huh. so Jesus said to them assuredly i say to you there is no one who has left or parents or brothers or children for the sake of the kingdom of god who shall not receive many times more in this present time and in the age to come eternal life Apana, mi na ngoja ile itasema yenye utapewa mpaka with persecution that's the verse i'm looking for is it mark check check whether it's mark the translation ya mark inakuwa if you get it let me know Ten thirty. go there mark 10:30 Jesus help us. Now by the way, Mr. Francis, even me personally, I went through it. Uh, I'm going to finish with that story. Truly, truly verse 20 what? 28. Then Peter began to say to him, mm-hmm. So Jesus answered and said, "Assuredly I say to you, there is no one who has left house or sister or father or mother or wife or children or no na iko specific sana eh uh-huh. for my sake and gospels who shall not receive a hundredfold now in this time houses and brothers and sisters and mothers mume not is akuna hundredfold ya wife eh jo wife achenjigi ukiwa chini ni ule mmoja uki omoka ni ule ule but my bro what are <laughs> brothers sisters mothers children and lands with in the age so please is it scriptural to trust ya mungu land si amesema kwanza si moja lands lands na houses are you getting my point so god hana shida kukupatia vitu ako na shida wakati vitu zimekuchukua Bwana sifiwe sana my prayer for you when god lifts you up increase your devotion write that down that when god lifts me up i increase my devotion god akiku increase acha nikupe example uh, after okay write it down when god increases you increase your devotion let me give you an example so janet right now where you are you are serving god very well we thank god for that so if god increases you to a salary of 500000 shillings what do you think god is trying to say he's trying to tell you i'm making it easy for you now to serve me because more money is coming your way but what do we do you change your big screen tv and then you 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 shift alafu nanunua iphone 15 pro max Eh? Alafu unatudunga. Kwanza nikikutumia devotional messages unanidunga. Ma archive. <laughs> Nashinda umeona messages aziki. Ulidunga pasi dunga point. Kumbuka God amesema pale aje, mimi nitajificha tu. Write this down. This is a point you should write down. What takes you away from the presence of God will bring you back this time crying. 
anything that takes you away from the hata kama ni hiyo kimondio hiyo kichali hiyo kichali hiyo kimekutoka presence ya god eh utarudi hapa ukilia press down shaken together and running over eh wana sifa sana make sure write this are this other point the devil is a master in making you move away from the secret place the devil is a master in making sure you move away from the secret place by the way usi why usi why yona ni kawaida ati okuomba leo hey. it's called a series of unfortunate events zimeanza don't take it lightly that you didn't pray today muna kumbuka ile scripture inasema while men It is when men are alert the enemy can come but the day the, the people are sleeping Bwana sifiwe sana Bwana sifiwe leo leo nilikuwa naomba naambia God atusaidie we don't go to spiritual slumberness tusilale eh Bwana sifiwe sana the bible says awaken to righteousness don't sleep don't sleep listen pray ni mzuri can place nyingine watu wanguka sana ni wakati umengoja Mungu na hajakamtru watu wengi wangukia hapo Bwana sifiwe sana watu wanguka kwa places mbili when prosperity has come or god is seemingly not showing up unajikatia njia Mungu akusaidie Bwana sifiwe sana So what was i saying before i went to that point Make sure you don't lose your fire for prayer. Write that down. That you don't lose your fire for prayer. All right? Make sure you don't lose your fire for prayer. That is one of the greatest secrets that you can ever have. So I finish with my story. One thing I love about giving you my story is because you can learn from me. And I'm not ashamed to say that I'm not a perfect person, but you can learn from me. Sindio? Sindio yes. apeno. So in our year, early years when we got married, uh, I was I have an IT background. I'm a very good IT guy. And my wife na watoto. Miel kitu ilifanya nipende my wife ni watoto. Vile ana handleigi watoto. I, she just has a grace for it. Me I don't know how she can handle like 10 kids. Eh? Hata ni vile tu niliweka post. Tungekuwa na children of Israel huko. <laughs> Unasikia vile anachocha nikaweka posi hivi na nikaambia Jehovah manze piga posi hata eh hapo So tumefanya harusi I'm in the IT in the world and then I don't know whether you have ever been in such a space yenye uko mbele ya technology like I was much much ahead of technology in Kenya so the things I was doing the Kenyan space was not ready so it was a frustration hapo ndio ni learn kila kitu ina time na season siju kama mnanipata so niko way ahead ninajua vitu mingi za tech lakini hazinisaidii so i have been reduced to installing softwares jesus is lord so this this pastor of yours alikuwa anatembea hata tao na kabandol kama cd mungu anatoa watu bali to cd hivi naenda tao niki niki i don't want to say hustle but naenda kutafuta that's as ngine si party so and that time your church we church was just like two years hivi church ya nakuru so everybody hakuna msi ana mpango so tunakutana church kuomba tu man so we used to pray Kai. we used to pray so i remember wakati bono wetu alizaliwa tuko na kesha eh and me we have been trained with my wife you don't give excuses why they learn not to give god excuses learn not to give god excuses because you don't give your boss excuses okay let's even not go there so my son is three months old kwenye tunakaa ni hapa kikuyu church ni ni wapi wangige wangige nilishikaga ad nikakaekelea hapa usiku na my wife three months we walked to church for kesha and then we walked back after kesha jo hakuna fear bwana sifie 
Niko katika safari ndefu we. <laughs> so we tukikuwa kwa hiyo space dada alikuwa anashinda kituambia ombeni tu i don't know why you i'm feeling that impression ombeni tu ombeni tu so hiyo season ilipopita it was two years two to three years hivi wakati hiyo season ilipita wase walichipuka you know the way miracles zinaanza ku happen church unapata msee all of a sudden akona contract ako hivi ako hivi so yetu ikakuwa ni kahaya so from a person mwenye hajui anything niko na idea nime float mahali msi akaniambia oh we can do that biz was 200000 shillings from say wama 100 to 200000 unajua hiyo ni shock ni story yangu si mshtuke <laughs> it was a shock to me i was not ready for such amounts then from from your contract nikaanza kupewa magari gari zingine ni they were heavy duty cars so una imagine na wapintia scenario una imagine unakaa kwa ilikuwa on compound lakini tunakaa na landlord afu unaingiza land cruiser <laughs> eh na landlord wako kwa na kavits afu hapa kando umeweka ki pick up hapa hivi umeweka gari nyingine niko na gari kama tatu kwa compound nani kama mimi <laughs> ilikuwa hivyo are you getting my point So all of a sudden vitu si tukukuwa tunaweza kufanya tukaanza kufanya I remember I will take my wife I will take my wife to ABC na drive from Nakuru tumetoka Sunday naeka to Mageres hivi tell you about Mageres <laughs> ABCs tunakula kapita tunaona sister yetu hapo Imara after na cruise tunarudi Nakuru na season inakimbia sana ninashikwa Jordan chiko umse yako na bonde yako na do man but this is what happened i made money i began losing spiritually so wednesday ni siku ya bible study i'm now torn between bible study ama niende garo inazada innocently too so nina nina miss bible study na miss prayer and usisahau I am Pastor Andrew's personal assistant. So I'm missing churches nini 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 nini. And that's why you should marry a godly woman. This woman of God aliniambiaga eh man of God. Kuna vyenye. Kuna vyenye hii route tunaenda sipo. Afu mimi sasa nina side. Kumbuka sasa hizo kwa hiyo story pastor wangu ako na someone series ya anointed for the marketplace. So nina wapina na my wife muna niambia twende marketplace twende tuka tuka populate huko nini nini alafu muna niambia tena si muache chagweni moja chagweni moja my wife ananiambia ai sweri this i don't feel right this thing so i began evil to evil to evil to so ikafika mahali pastor wangu somehow began to recruit another pa and i didn't know mile siku nilijua yeye kamenuka <laughs> nimeenda nimeenda cuz i used to go to pastor's prayers Ion is shot make sure he's not as kopo nimefika kwake ninakutana tu na house manager sioni gari namuuliza eh pasi yako naambia acha mchezo siwe ni pia wake mimi msijui pasi yako akaniambia pasi travel to Mombasa on Thursday he has a conference there hapo ndio nilijua wazee tume separate kama Barnabas <laughs> hii story haiko umenipata so nikajipata kwa series ya ninakaa church kama sijui kama mimi pia wa pasi ako na mse ana recruit hapa alafu mse akiblanda ananinyeshea ile hakuna ushaona hiyo njaro ananinyeshea ni kama ni mimi nimefanya hiyo blanda kumbe amejam na sijui for nine months until i wanted to quit church imagine me pasi wanted to quit mimi ah then that thing sama ikaanza kuinterfere na ndoa yetu cuz my wife all of a sudden amekuwa mspiri kuniliko aniambia wewe una imagine ushasikia wife yako akiambia mimi na feel god akisema hivi i'm like una feel aje una i am the man here una feel aje i'm the one who should be feeling these things mimi niliishia kwa nyumba imagine tuko kwa nyumba i'm helping somebody here kwa nyumba 
Hii ni mspiri, mi ni mkano mbaya. Mi naona Bruce Lee. Na Jackie Chan, na Majet Lee huko, na ma Jason Statham. Ma wife kwa, kwa family media. Eh, hey, buda. <laughs> eh, sasa zingine naenda nakuta anasoma Ephesians. I'm like, dude, who reads these things? Then one day, tell your neighbor one day. So sijika ni divora alikuja lakini kwa hii story tuseme <laughs> tugari tulilambago hivi one day shoma hiyo story ya job ndio vile unapea kwa story unaambo eh kagari kameenda kidogo kidogo unaambo hiyo nyingine imeenda hii bank ilifungwa hivyo from a business that was thriving to zero we literally lost millions Oh, mnyamaza hapo tuli tulirudigi ground zero ground zero ilikuwa mbaya that i remember tulikatiwa stima mr francis but mungu alituonea huruma juu nyumba yetu kwenye ilikuwa inakaa kulikuwa na street light so ilikuwa inamulika sito na bedroom san masanzo wangu wakubwa wa edi na nene walika bila kuona tv so i used to charge my tablet na wapelekea waone eh alafu tukaanza kujenga church mimi sijui na what happened in my mind nikaeka simu yangu ni kuona simu kali nikaeka simu hapa nikipiga nikatego nikafanya screen ikaenda hivyo from simu kali to mulika mwizi niliformatiwa Zilikuwa tu ni Mungu anazifoma tu pole 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 pole. Mpaka ikafika mahali nikainua mkono nikamwambia, "Okay, what do you really want?" Akaniambia, "I want you in ministry." Are you getting my point? Now from that experience I learned when these things come, they don't have my heart. <clears throat> they don't have my heart. And I finish by telling you this. The reason why God give, tells us to give in church so that money doesn't have your heart. Can I hear an amen? So God atawainua. God atawainua. Muta travel hii dunia. You will walk about this life. You will dine in the best. I pray God our lift. I pray some of you travel mujione dunia. I pray that you get married in holy matrimony. I pray you open businesses. I pray that you 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 be all that god has called you to be i pray that you shall be fruitful eh there is a place where you can get to when you, you can have three cars four cars five cars you can have multiple houses you can be eating lunch in new york and the next thing you're in in tokyo it will happen but i pray may your devotion not be lost may you not lose god may you not lose god in the journey in the name of Jesus Christ aki gari isifanye backslide gari mabati isifanye backslide pesa zisifanye backslide i pray for you people of god that god will keep you and sustain you i pray for you that god will see you and your children in the name of Jesus Christ i pray for you parents oh parents i pray for you that god will sustain you god will keep you in Jesus name i have a word for parents don't pursue money the expense of your children these kids in their formative years they will they remember that you spend time with them praise be to god unajua sasa zingine magret tuna tuna tunafikiria kuwanunulia gari ndio kitu ya maana mm i have been spending time with my youngest son tunacheza ball na ananipiga chobo na ananichongoa niambia daddy wewe umezeeka na kuingizaje chobo hapa but some years to come hiyo ndio kitu atakuwa kikumbuka don't chase money at the expense of your children praise be to god money has its place but i pray money will never take the place of god in jesus name may the lord bless you may the lord bless you i want you to stand up on your feet i want to speak psalm 20 show me psalm 20 psalm 20 i want to speak it over your life psalm 20 Mm. Psalm 20 May the Lord bless you May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble May the name of God of Jacob defend you In the name of Jesus Can we continue 
Yes. May he send you help from the sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. May he remember all your offerings and accept your burnt sacrifices. All right. May he grant you according to your heart's desire and fulfill all your purposes. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord cause his light to shine upon you. This week, I pray, you shall not be involved in an accident. You shall not be kajaked. Father, these your people will not be kajaked. They will not lose their property. They will not lose their mind. You are providing everything that they, that they need according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. I pray as you bless them, O oh God, may they love you more than ever before. May they honor you more than ever before. May they revere you more than ever before. Thank you, mighty God, for these your people are blessed in the name of Jesus, from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. One more, one more prayer. One more prayer. I want you to ask the Lord, because you see, the Bible says, you have not because you ask not. All right? I want you to tell him, Lord, give me a praying heart. Give me a praying heart. That's simple prayer. Lord, give me a praying heart. May I be found praying. May I be found praying. May I be found praying. Give me a praying heart. 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 Father, give your people a praying heart. A praying heart. A praying heart. In the name of Jesus. May the spirit of supplication rest upon you. May God cause you to wake up in the wee hours of the morning to pray. May you be found praying. May you be found praying in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. All right. Have you been blessed? Show me Ephesians 1.17. This is a prayer I want to pray for all of you. That the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Christ. May you receive the spirit of wisdom. Receive the spirit of wisdom. Say with me, I receive the spirit of wisdom. I receive the spirit of wisdom. The Bible says that Christ has been made unto us wisdom. So you have the wisdom of Christ. Praise be to God. Uh, the Bible says uh, uh, that, that, that in him are hidden the treasures, the treasures of wisdom. So say with me, I receive the spirit of wisdom. Say with me, I am sagacious. I am wise in the name of Jesus Christ. Say again, I receive the spirit of revelation. What is the spirit of revelation? It means when you read the Bible, the words of the Bible are being revealed by his spirit. So you have the spirit.